Namaste. So actually, uh, today is a, a lunar eclipse, and I am now um, not so far from the beach. Actually, to South Florida, and uh, very interesting event. I mean, something around a couple of uh, hundreds of meditation and yoga practitioners um, come together. Uh, for the meditation and special ritual which is connected with the eclipse um, well um, actually uh, moon in a Vedic tradition uh, we call uh, it uh, Chandra so Chandra Deva God moon and um, this Chandra or moon um, symbolize uh, our mind and um, you know there are two different things intellect and mind intellect in Sanskrit we call buddhi and mind is manas and uh, actually uh, what is the difference between mind and intellect uh, that's by itself a very important question by the way main uh, deity, main god, uh, according to Vedic tradition, for the intellect is Vishnu. And not just Vishnu, but uh, Hayagriva. Hayagriva is, you know, Vishnu with the head in the form and the shape of a horse. And main uh, god, or main deity, main demigod, for the mind is exactly Chandra, which is moon, and that moon is just uh, in front of me. Okay, uh, intellect is uh, our capacity of decision making. So it means uh, when you mm, uh, able properly to work with the information, analyze information and then um, make a proper decision and it may be connected with uh, spirituality philosophy or even some business questions or questions connected with your um, family whatever health diet uh, but just decision making this is intellect and um, mind actually it's like um, just how to get it intellect deciding what to do but how to do that is connected with mind and exactly um, chandra uh, in sanskrit means moon is the main power of mind so it means um, you don't need to struggle with mind you don't need um, <laughs> to go to war against mind nothing like that you need to train mind to behave i mean so the main problem with the mind is when mind is trying to become a kind of decision maker so this is a huge problem okay today we have a lunar eclipse and uh, quite many people are trying to understand okay what is the mystical spiritual vibrational meaning and actually because uh, moon uh, is connected with our mind and not only mind by the way and uh, some some energy aspect of us as well so, but let us um, put aside all the horror pictures about <laughs> Uh, lunar eclipse actually nothing dangerous may happen nothing bad may happen with you um, lunar eclipse is a very special time very special moment when you can work with um, your um, positive intention you may just uh, set your goals you can create a mental picture of your goals what we um, call actually work with a positive intention and also lunar eclipse is a very powerful moment for the meditation because really 
if you are consciously practice any type of meditation that can be kriya yoga or can be any kind of meditation then for sure you may hugely benefit you know all that uh, things uh, like eclipses uh, they can be um, bad only if you are unconscious i mean if you just live your life without paying attention to all these spiritual cosmic events then eclipse can influence you in a bad way um sometimes some um, all kinds of unauspicious things may happen with your business or family life even health but only if you are unconscious but if you are able to uh, use this um, very special um, moment uh, consciously if you practice meditation mantras affirmations prayers you work with your um, goal setting then for sure it's um, a huge chance and huge opportunity you know uh, even um, here i can smell incense sticks it's uh, so strong smell uh, amazing um, but actually meditation is um, happening some 15 meters uh, from here so let me go there i'm planning to join this a group of uh, meditation and yoga practitioners who are welcoming this eclipse namaste